which oil is best for Indian cooking? These days, I am getting such type of questions from my clients, friends, and even relatives. Hi, this is Dr. Rajni Chinni. Welcome to my channel, Healthy Lifestyle for a Happy Living. The purpose of making this video is to create awareness in choosing the right type of oil for a healthy cooking. I have done a survey asking many women about what type of oils they generally use in their cooking. I got a huge list of uh, wide variety of oils uh, when I've done the survey. For example, sunflower oil, safflower oil, cottonseed oil, rice bran oil, olive oil, groundnut oil, sesame, mustard, and so on. And you say they're preferring cold pressed oils over refined. Um, and you say like we try to blend four to five varieties of oil in one container or five liter pack and then they use it for the whole cooking and uh, a few women said like they buy one type of oil once that is finished they switch to a different oil so i got multiple different answers so nobody is very clear exactly which one to choose so we all need to understand two things choosing the right one by understanding the nutritional information labels and how to use it in a right way so when coming to nutritional information labels, when you go through a nutritional information label behind every oil pack or bottle, there is a huge list of different types of fats mentioned there. For example, saturated fat, monounsaturated fat, polyunsaturated fats, trans fats, and so on, right? So make sure you pick the oil that has highest concentration of monounsaturated fatty acids as seen in this label. Always try to avoid oils that have high levels of polyunsaturated fatty acids which are called as PUFA. Monounsaturated fatty acids are called as MUFA and poly are called as PUFA. So avoid using oils that have high concentration of polyunsaturated fatty acids as polyunsaturated fatty acids are highly inflammatory and detrimental for health on long use. So check the nutritional information behind every bottle or the pack that has high monounsaturated fatty acids. So try to pick the one that has high monounsaturated fatty acids. And uh, coming to cold pressed and the refined. Cold pressed are far better and much better and safer than the refined ones as many chemicals are used in refining oils which are toxic for the body. So how to cook in a right way? So whatever may be the oil you are choosing, whether it is groundnut oil or sesame oil or mustard oil, make sure it does not catch smoke while cooking, which is very, very important. Because when it catches smoke, it loses all good properties and turns to trans fat, which is very, very harmful for the body. Let us understand the wrong way of using cooking oils. Generally, most of us add oil first on the pan, then once it catches smoke, then add the tadka ingredients, rest of the vegetables and so on. But as I told you earlier, catching smoke is not good for you. So let's see how to use oil in a right way in the kitchen. Initially, take a kadai or a pan, saucepan, add the tadka ingredients, dry roast them, then add the oil. Once it is heated, immediately add the vegetables before it catches the smoke. So, be smart enough while cooking so that it will not catch smoke. And uh, please do absorb this by, on everyday basis, whether it is cold pressed or the refined, preferably cold pressed. And uh, many certain oils have a small smoking point. So be careful when you are cooking. If you like this video and think that others may get benefited too, do share with others, subscribe and tap the bell icon to get notifications of my videos. So stay tuned to my channel and thank you so much for watching.